Today, we're going to be diving into what is a dynamic microphone and what is a condenser microphone and which one is right for you. So if you want to start a YouTube channel or a podcast or just have better audio when you're creating content, this episode's for you. We're going to dive and break down each of those and then let you decide which one fits your situation best so you can have the best audio possible. All right, so let's start with dynamic. What is a dynamic microphone? A dynamic microphone, both are taking sound waves and creating electrical signals from them. It's just the way they do it that make them different. Dynamic microphones use electromagnetism to change the sound waves to electrical signals. Whereas a condenser microphone uses electrostatic or a capacitor type technology, converts that sound wave into electrical signal. So both are good. It just depends on your setup, really. But we're going to break down the pros and cons of both and let you decide at the end. So some benefits of dynamic microphones. Dynamic microphones, like the one I'm using right now, the Shure MV7, are more durable and capable and rugged because condensers, that little capacitor, is more fragile. And dynamic, they're constructed a little bit more durably than condensers as well. Dynamic microphones also are pretty easy to get started with. You don't have to have fancy equipment to get started. You just plug and play. Like this one has the XLR capability, which is this cord coming in the back here, but it is not needed. You can actually use the USB-C cord here going into it, into the computer to record straight to the computer if you wanted. So it's pretty plug and play. Dynamic microphones a lot of time are more affordable than condenser microphones. Dynamic microphones are also more forgiving when it comes to like background noise and the everyday hums that are in your house, especially if you're doing a home studio, dynamic microphones allow more, more wiggle room. Dynamic microphones usually compensate internally for a lot of those external noises that you might hear in your everyday household or home studio, whereas condenser mics, they pick up almost every little sound based on how they're constructed. Some downsides to dynamic mics is that they don't do well with really high frequency and they don't do well with lower level sensitivity as well. But they're a good place for the middle ground and for a lot of people in their situations. But now on to condensers. Some pros for condenser mics is obviously really great quality. You hear shows and singers using condenser mics because of that in a very controlled studio setting where there's not a lot of ambient noise or external noise or little things that might be picked up on the condenser mic. It does really well for vocals as well, singing because of the being able to pick up on higher frequencies. So that's another pro to the condenser mic. Now there are some downsides to the condenser mic as well. They're not as durable as dynamic mics because of how they're built a little bit more delicate construction than a dynamic mic. So you got to be careful with that. Another downside to the condenser mic is sometimes it causes self noise that will be picked up on the recording, which is just, you might not hear it, but it actually creates noise itself. And that can negatively impact your recording. To use a condenser mic, you'll have to have an external power source to supply it to be able to use. And again, like I mentioned, these work best in really controlled studio environments where there's not going to be any other ambient noises or anything you have to worry about. They're treated for sound, so they're going to just pick up the vocals really well. So things you should consider when trying to decide between a dynamic and condenser mic is one, obviously your budget. If you're just starting out, just getting into the space, dynamic mics are most of the time going to be more cost effective for you to get started, but you can still get really good quality from a dynamic mic on a budget. But definitely, again, look at your situation. If you have a really good sound treated room and have control over that, then maybe a condenser is a good place to start and you can match that to your budget and needs as well. And then you got to think about the type of mic as far as the patterns that they have, which mic works for you. A bi-directional might be good because it picks up in front and behind of the mic, which would be good for like an interview setting. There's omnidirectional mics, which picks up in all directions. These are not good for noisy environments or if you're trying to pick up multiple sounds because they're going to pick up everything at once. These are better for controlled settings or if you, for example, if you're trying to pick up multiple instruments at once on one mic or multiple people talking at the same time. Then you have the cardioid. So cardioid collects all the sound coming from the front and doesn't allow any sound coming from the back. So these are good if you're speaking from one direction and don't want any other sound coming in from the back. So you just want it to be the one thing that is 
speaking into the mic or having the audio be picked up from one direction. And then super cardio is the same kind of thing. They just have a tighter angle of what sound they pick up from the front compared to just the regular cardioid. So they just cancel off any sound that comes from the sides or the back. And then, of course, you want to look at your setup. Do you have a mixer? Do you have an external power source? Do you have that preamp? Do you have those things or are you just trying to plug into your computer and start? So you've got to look at all of those things, your recording platform, what they allow as far as recording premises go, and take that all into consideration. Your environment that you're in. Do you have much control? Are you able to soundproof it at all? Is it just wide open? So all things you got to think about when choosing your microphone. So I hope some of this could clear things up between what is a dynamic and what is condenser and what fits best for your situation starting out, or maybe you're looking to upgrade. Again, look at your setup, look at what you're trying to get out of your microphone, what fits your budget, and then you can make a decision going forward. I hope this helps. Until next time, go out, continue to elevate your brand, elevate everything you're doing, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.